I was born Camille, so they say. <laughs> May 2nd, 1922, in Woodbury, New Jersey. Did both parents raise you? Oh, yes. Will you tell us something about your parents? Well, there are only two words for my mother and father. Of course, I'll say many more, but the only two words for them are glory, hallelujah. My father... Let's see. When I met him, <laughs> yes. he had just become a minister. And the legend in my home was that he became a legend because Roscoe was just born into this home. <laughs> that the <laughs> devil has arrived and now I will become a minister. But it was during, of course, the Depression. So he um, worked as a parcel post deliverer in Philadelphia which is 11 miles away. We used to refer to it as the city. That is until we heard of New York. But <laughs> and my mother um, kept home, kept her house. She was a mother. She was a marvelous lady. How many siblings? I have a sister just a little bit older than I, one brother younger and three brothers older. We are six. Six of you all together. What was Woodbury, New Jersey's racial climate while you were growing up? Well, it's one of my brothers who told me at some point that we live up south. <laughs> but there's precious little racial friction in Woodbury. I think uh, partly because of the extra well, part of it is the extraordinary um, civilized feeling throughout that little bucolic town. I know they say it's a city now, but we thought it was a little town. Was this an integrated community? Y were yes, you, though, essentially, we were all African American. Across that railroad there, there were some white families, and the next family to us this way were the Capaldis. But right in this uh, strict neighborhood, yes, we were all African-American. And they were lovely people. I remember them all quite fondly. My best friend in my, as a child was Frank Buchanan. He just died about maybe two weeks after my brother, about whom we were speaking, died. And it was quite extraordinary to see um, that Frank still lived there. I was born in 83 Carpenter Street in that very house, and he was born in 80 Carpenter Street right across the street.